In this series of three lectures, we are going to learn how we can use this VL53L0X tiny laser distance sensor. This can be used to measure distance with accuracy of 2 mm up to 2 meters, depending on the location and condition, and you can utilize it and use it for example, to decide if an obstacle or something gets closer, you can stop your uh, robotic arm, smart car, or any other devices for an application that you have. The sensor is offered in different modules, something like this, or something like this one, and also something like this one in blue module. We're going to use it and measure the distance and display the distance on the serial monitor, so you can use it directly with Arduino, or we can display it on the LCD 1602 and display 2004, larger one. And also we are going to show you how you can use it on the TM1637 uh, four digit seven segment display. The module is offered with eight pin here or with six pin. or even four pens. But for our application, we are going to use only four pens because this can measure the distance and you can take action based on the distance that you discover and your robot could react. Here are the pens. From the right here, as you can see, VCC, ground, SCL, and SDA. These are the main pen that we are using. Do not connect pen. And this is a second ground. This is uh, external shutdown. And this is the entrapped. And here we have only VN, they have mentioned it here as VCC. Pay attention, VN, VCC, SCL, SDA, clock and data are in the same order. So you can just swap it at any time if you have different modules. And here the same way, VCC, ground, SCL and SDA. And then we have entrapped and x shot. And this module has also we have VCC ground, SCL, SDA, and they call it GPIO, here and x -shot. If you use any of these to measure the distance, we just need four pens, clock and data, and the rest we will not use. On the module, they have also voltage regulator, so you can use it with five volts for, with all of this, with this and with this one. We have voltage regulator, so you don't have to worry, you can connect it directly to five volts. Make sure to remove this shield here, the small plastic. Otherwise it will disturb the calculation and maybe it add reflection. This is a data sheet VL53L0X. And here are the some of the specs. The maximum range is two meter. This is the actual chip that is attached on the module that you see. The sensor size is 4.4 by 2.4 by 1 millimeter, very tiny. Based on then this classification, it's safe for eye. Diagram of the actual sensor that is on the module, and as you can see, it, it is it is emitting 940 nanometer rays, and these are the pins on the module. But we are not using all of those and some of them have been used on the module. And here is the explanation of these pens. As you can see, x shut is for shutdown. If you want to shut this down, that put this pen to low. And then the rest, we are just using SDA, SCL, ground, and supply voltage. And here is one pen, entrap pen, in case if you're using entrap. In some of the modules, we see this pen as INT or GPIO. I'll provide you the link in case if you need further information from this data sheet. Now this is a code for the VL53L0X. This is the library as a zip file I've provided. Download it on your computer and then click on sketch, include library and add zip library. Point it to wherever you have downloaded and this is an example of a library. Select it and click open. Once you click open, go to file, 
examples scroll down at the bottom alphabetically go to VL530X and this is the file the continuous that I have opened and I've modified it so this is the header file part of the library and this is the class name this class and we create an instance of that we call it sensor in the setup we initialize a serial monitor with 9600 baud we initialize the wire.begin which is for, for I2C communication sensor.init that is initializing the sensor that you have created an object so this initializes that and also it sets the timeout reading takes more than 500 milliseconds it will give you information on the screen sensor.startcontinuous will start the continuous measurement inside the loop we use that object sensor dot read range continuous millimeter this up to here this will read the distance in millimeter and we store it in a variable called distance and then serial print we print this text because it's inside double quotation and the distance which we have is a millimeter we print it here and after that we print the text mm the millimeter this is the one that you see it and if the sensor timeout occurred then we print this on on the screen and after all these three line we print a new line and there is 100 millisecond delay between the each uh, reading this is the wiring diagram for VL53L0X this chip with this pink module from the left VCC is connected using green wire to 5 volts from ground I use blue wire connected to the ground and then clock or SC have been connected to this last pin A5 and SDA the data pin have been connected to A4 if you're using this blue module exactly the same the pens and the color are at the exact location or if you're using this one which has four pens extra pens the location of the pens are exactly the same as you can see it here and if you're getting this black module the labels are on the other side make sure to pay attention to the chip and to this diode and the locations are exactly the same as you see here in this picture VCC of the module have been connected using the green wire to 5 volts ground is connected using blue wire to the ground and then we have SCL or clock have been connected using this purple wire to A5 SDA is connected using this gray wire to A4 you're using Arduino Uno and then, then SCL is A5 and SDA is A4 and Arduino Mega SDA is 20 and then SCL is 21 and the two other pins are left and the wiring is exactly the same for this module pay attention VCC is on the other side I'm just inserting it it will just work or for this module pay attention to the VCC VCC is on this side and it should be on the other side so for the three the connection is exactly the same let me now demonstrate the VL53L0X as you can see it shows the distance here and it's running I have a ruler here and this is the chip this portion let me put the Arduino box at 10 cm or 100 mm and put this exactly at the edge in here and as you can see we are reading 104 or 103 with a little deviation but 2 or 3 mm deviation other than that it works fine with that module let me just replace it with different module 
on this one. As you can see now it's just timeout. I have to reset this every time I change it. Now it shows if I put this reflective side you will not be able to read properly as you can see it shows 110 about one centimeter deviation but if I move it in the same location suddenly you will see you're getting proper value and if I move this back 30 centimeter it shows and now I'm pointing this to the wall it shows one meter 119 centimeter now but if I point it to the ceiling which is beyond the range you see it 190 and this was how to use this VL53L0X laser distance meter thank you for watching